Chang fork hard fork. What fork you fork? Let's get some fork with Cardano. Thanks for being here with me today on the Crypto Bliss channel. I truly appreciate you. You bless a wonderful, special soul. So today, of course, we're going to be speaking about Cardano. Haven't spoken about Cardano for a very, very long time on the channel. And I think it now deserves to have some communication to our beautiful and brilliant audience. So can you become a millionaire with Cardano? I think let's find out and make sure to stay tuned right to the very end of this video because you'll find out by then. Anyways, what is Cardano and who made Cardano? First of all, who made Cardano is Mr. Charles Hoskinson. Cardano is developed by Charles Hoskinson, who's X Ethereum, and essentially he started to code and build over his own blockchain, and that blockchain is now called Cardano. With nearly a million followers here, you can see that he's constantly doing some incredible things. And Hosky is the Hosky token, which is a dog. I actually don't even follow that, but I'll follow it anyways. And so despite all of the claims, Cardano is working as expected and the chain load is quite minimal. Here are the tokens to 10,345,000 policies, uh, 5 million load is 23%, one hour load is 28% and a 24 hour load is 25%. So it's doing pretty decent. And now, of course, you know about SNEC, it's meme coin. We may bring this up later on in the video. So stay tuned and they're just releasing something themselves too. So anyways, let's go and have a look at what Cardano is. Cardano, first of all, is ranked number 12th on CoinGecko. It's got a beautiful name, tickers ADA. And of course, those who have been in crypto for a while will know quite a substantial amount about Cardano. I'm going to show you some historical data on Cardano that might pull you to believe that we can do some pretty darn awesome gains with this coin, considering we're pretty much at the bottom of this chart. Now, Cardano, you can see here, its previous high back in 2017 was somewhat around like a $1 level. I can't even get there nice. There you go, $1.09 level. Isn't that very interesting? Because this peak here was pretty much $3.09, as you can see from here, which we are down by 89.4% at the current moment. And over the last four years, Cardano has gained by 1,600%. So not bad after all. And the most juicy about all of this is that we're actually up 27.8% on the year for Cardano. So this is still, Cardano is actually still outperforming the S&P 500, which is pretty, and gold actually. So that tells me that Cardano is doing pretty darn well in terms of what it is. Now, the maximum supply of Cardano is 45 billion. The circulating supply is about 35.6 uh, billion. Fully diluted trading volume is about 400 million. Fully diluted valuation is about 14.8. 8 billion and the market cap is about 11.7 billion so it's still a teeny tiny teensy little insy bitsy market cap now will it get a massive run this cycle so we'll have to have a look in a moment but Cardano is a proof of stake blockchain network that supports decentralized apps or dApps with a multi-asset ledger and, and smart contracts other Unlike many other blockchain, Cardano does not build on top of technical foundations from Bitcoin or other blockchains, i.e. Ethereum, which is what he's referring to. Instead, Cardano works with the leading academics on research to develop new and innovative solutions, which are subjected to academic peer review and presented at major international conferences. The team then builds a prototype to understand real-world technical and functional implementation issues, enabling the creation of technical specifications before formal development begins. So uh, on the September 22, 22, Cardano implemented its Vassal hard fork. The Vassal hard fork is intended to improve smart contract capabilities, increase the chain's throughput and reduce costs, while also enhancing transaction validation. So what makes Cardano so unique? First of all, it's a proof of stake mechanism known as Ouroboros 
which transactions are verified by splitting the chains into epochs, which are in turn segmented into time slots. For every time slot, a new slot leader is elected and is responsible for adding a block to the chain for either for their designated slot. At each epoch can be uh, partitioned in infinitely. The Cardano blockchain is theoretically infinitely scalable, making it possible to run multiple transactions simultaneously. So without going through the history of Cardano, you can use my, where can you buy Cardano? First of all, you can use my private link down, pinned in the card above, and you can use that link, get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus on Bybit and grab yourself some Cardano. Use that to grab yourself some Cardano. You can go and check their Cardano scan, which is their own explorer, the Ledger wallet, which is theirs, Trezor SafePal at Ilipal, and Twitter, Telegram, and Forum Cardano. So basically, you can go and check out everything, GitHub, everything that you need to know on Cardano. And so today, if you were to buy $1 worth of Cardano, you get three Cardano. If you were to buy $10, you get 30.5 Cardano. If you buy $100 worth, you get 305 Cardano. And if you buy $1,000, you get 3,054 Cardano. 10,000 will get you about 30,550 Cardano. And $100,000 will get you about 305,500 Cardano. Okay, now, with all that being said, let's go and delve into Cardano just a little bit more deeply. All right. So Cardano officially rolls out the Chang. The latest update and the latest news is that Cardano officially rolls out the Chang hard fork, unlocking sovereign wealth fund that is worth about half a billion in ADA. That's an interesting moment. The upgrade enables decentralized voting and unlocks a 1.5 billion ADA sovereign wealth fund for the community, according to the Cardano creator Charles Hoskinson. So this is a truly extraordinary thing to be used by and for every single one of the millions of members in the Cardano ecosystem. It's amazing that so many people who don't know each other have never met each other and are now working together through a blockchain and make decisions whose consequences will ripple through the history of the world. I love this. I love this man. I think he's very much... Um, He's very much open and he says what he needs to say. He's very specific to what, especially all the fight around crypto, especially all the fight around Cardano, because a lot of people think that Cardano is dying, but it's not dying. Speaking of which, do you actually own a bag of Cardano? If you do, leave a Cardano heart down below. That's a blue one, of course. And otherwise, let me know by shout out, shouting out to Cardano on the comments. That would be amazing, please. All right. So Cardano's long-awaited Chang Hard Fork upgrade scheduled for 1st of September. So I believe it happened on the 2nd of September. And so anyways, it is, it is literally the most significant milestone in the history of Cardano and for the industry as a whole. Cardano will be a decentralized civilization spanning the entire world with billions of residents. We'll have the most advanced blockchain governance system, annual budgets, a treasury, and the wisdom of our entire community to guide us. This is very, very cool. I love it. I think it's amazing. I think it's ambitious. And if you are not dreaming as big as Charles Hoskinson is dreaming right now, and most of the people in crypto right now, then you are not dreaming big enough. Okay, because this man is showing us that it is possible regardless of anybody who thinks it's not. A vote for Harris is a vote against American crypto industry, according to Cardano, Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson. Now, recently, we've been seeing a lot more action in terms of Kamala Harris really speaking about coming out and saying that she is now been speaking to um, Coinbase and essentially learning more about crypto. So with that being said, is it a bad thing? I think in one way. And I think, yeah, at the end of the day, all of these politicians can promise the world, but often like we see, they don't deliver according to their promises. So hence why it would be very important for your sovereignty. And I think that's what Charles Hoskinson is really saying. Who gives a rocking fuck 
about what any of the government parties actually have to say and really what are you doing about investing in these cryptos like Cardano, like Bitcoin, like Ethereum that you believe in, like Solana, like Ripple that you believe in, that I've been speaking about on my channel for an immense amount of time and actually all of that really has to do with your own personal beliefs and your own strength of holding true to your own self because knowing that the entire crypto market cap has drastically increased over time and with a very simple market cap of 2 trillion my goodness me we have a very very long way to go if you recall on one of my videos a very very long time ago i actually mentioned that we would be possibly heading up to about 200 trillion dollars could that happen this year no could it happen in the next decade to two decades very high possibility just at 200 trillion let alone what else will be happening through all the money printing that's going to happen now let's move on here so let's go and have a look at the cardano chart and so the cardano chart here you can see there's that spike there's the spike up there now i'd like to go and essentially chart this one here which is the cardano market cap so i'd like to go and chart and share with share something with you and give you some massively massive huge realization so basically you can see here that the all-time high was three dollars and nine cents okay we know that we're now 10x under that at 32.6 cents that is mad so we have got a 10x to get back up just to the all-time high which will give you a possibility of a 900 percent return on cardano itself now with that being said if it did that it's going to do something absolutely intense and remember the altcoins haven't even got really rallying and first of all altcoins when they pump they just freaking pump now in this rally we had from the bottom here to the top it rally about 3300 percent now i'll leave that for a moment but before i do that i want to go and share with you and this is a huge coordination on the market cap side of things because once upon a time when in the previous cycle um, cardano's market cap actually reached 101 billion dollars and remember today we're only sitting at 11.7 billion dollars so there be goes your 10x that you can make with cardano just by hitting the all-time high can it do much more than that well you'll just have to stay tuned and find out but let's tap into something before snake is the snake coin which is the snake fun that i was sharing with you essentially that is here so snake is the first meme coin on cardano and it is the the longest and most important meme coin on Cardano at this point. You can see that we're in a falling wage pattern right here with a higher low over there and over there, a bottom that it touched and pulled up over here right now. It's holding nicely above this candle's wick. We're still under this, we're still under this pressure, but the moment we get up on SNCC, we have the ability to get at least up to the all time high about 300%. Now remember, meme coins pump way, way crazier than the actual coin right itself. Now. So from the Snake is only sitting at a $54 million market cap with a $76 billion coin in its uh, in its books. Over the last year, this coin has gained 3x already. Okay, so I don't know about you, but ooh -wee sure incredible it's just incredible to see this ecosystem it's 3x and it's only at a 54 million dollar market cap so imagine what it can do here and i'm gonna show you now what cardano and snack can do for you and your beautiful portfolio and if you can possibly become a millionaire with one or the other or actually both make sure to subscribe to my crypto bliss channel show some love with the blue heart for cardano tag cardano and let's get to it so a whale okay snack.fun will go live at 2 p.m so snack went live in your heart so there you go snack.fun very simple game go check it out anyway check the cardano foundation is here and today's chang hard fought marks the major milestone for the cardano blockchain ecosystem and community fulfilling the promise 
of a truly self-governing decentralized network. Welcome to the new era of decentralized governance, Voltaire. And I like what he uses in terms of Voltaire. So anyways, Cardano is now officially in the spotlight with 150 million locked in TVL, 1,000 plus dApps that have been deployed, $11.4 billion market cap, 3.5 million active wallets. That is still so very small in actually comparison to how many people are across in this world. Now, let's go and have a very, very beautiful squiz here. Let's go and talk about Cardano first. So if we look at Cardano here right now, and the reason I want to just very, very quickly touch base with you here, okay, on the chart. So you can see here my green circle, okay? The stochastic RSI is right at the top over, over bought, over everything. But yet at the breakout, literally at the center of this breakout, this candle right here, this breakout point, and that well essentially here would have been the breakout point yeah so so i mean i'll be even happy to move this right over there because that is the breakout point and then so this is to that breakout point but as you can see here the macd the macd says we're getting ready to go in terms of the momentum and the volume coming in but the stochastic says that we're over overboard but look what happens we pump here for an immense amount of time and we did a crazy pump from all the way there to up there um, throughout this entire time. Even if we just pumped to there, that's a major, major pump that we had on Cardano. Now, interesting point here is that currently where we're at, and very interestingly so, we're actually at pretty much a few percent away from the bottom of the price, which was at 22, 23 cents, 22 cents on Cardano. That is mad. That is the bear cycle bottom at 22.5 cents. We're literally 10 cents away from that, which is uh, it's still another 50%. If we were to fall from there down to there, it's still another 50%. So I would say that right now with a nice wick like this, a higher low here, the stochastic trying to push up, the MACD volume trying to push up, we could possibly get a new breakout on on Cardano, have a pop up to this 50 cent level, which would ironically meet up with our moving averages here, 48 cents. And then we have another pullback and create a higher low, and then start to make our way up to uh, this a very strong level at 75, 77 cents, as you can see there. So you can see here, the same thing happened right here, that when this candle broke through here, the, Mac, uh, the stochastic was very, very overbought. The MACD was just getting started in its momentum and we had a massive pump here. So now two things that I want to share with you. Falling wedge pattern is the most recent. Broadening megaphone pattern is the larger time frame. And so the moving averages are keeping this price suppressed down at the moment. And remember, it's like a trampoline. When you bounce on it and it's suppressed, it springs you back up so that you bounce like a crazy beast. And that's exactly what's going to happen with Cardano. Now, can Cardano beat its all-time highs? Let's go and see what would happen if we were to hit that 3,300% in this cycle, just like it did in the last cycle. Do you believe it could hit 3,300% in the cycle? Well, that would take us to an estimated $11, right on fucking point and in the center of exactly my target for Cardano. My target for Cardano is about $10 to $12. So that's very ironic that it's possibly sitting at an $11 um, uh, potential that it could hit. So if Cardano hits an $11 price, what would that actually look like for us? So if we're buying it today at 20 uh, at the bottom, okay, if we bought it at the bottom, but right now it's not at the bottom. So if you were to buy Cardano at 32.6 cents, because that's today's price, and you invested, let's just say $100, could you become a millionaire? Let's just say your sell price is the $11 in this cycle. That, in fact, let's just take us up to the previous all-time high. The previous all-time high will take this $100 and convert it into $950. Now, $11, okay, will take this $100 and convert it into $3,300, 
pretty darn freaking decent, right? So if you were to invest $1,000, okay, in Cardano today, and you sell it at $11, your $1,000 will convert into $33,742. Mind your peak. Now, if you were to invest $10,000 and you have this kind of capital, you would take $10,000 and you would convert it into about $337,000 with a $10,000 investment. That's a pretty darn fucking good investment. That's all I'm going to say to you. So the obvious is obvious where we need to 3x this to get to a million dollars. So you would need an estimated about 30,000 Cardano at today's price. Oh, this is in rands, eh? Wonder why it's in rands. Oh, oh it's in dollars. It's in dollars, okay? So this would take us 30,000 Cardano and a sell price at 11 to get this at our one, $1 million. So 30,000 Cardano today would cost you an estimated 30,000. 30,000 would cost you an estimated 10 grand, obviously, because that's what you're spending. You're, uh, yeah, it cost you $10,000, basically. It will cost you, uh, 30,000 ADA would cost you about $10,000 today. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So you, you can actually see here. Now let's go and have a look at Snake. What could Snake do as a potential? Well, we have no freaking idea, but if Snake had to get to a $1 billion market cap, Okay, that is still very, very small. Let's go and have a look what that would look like for Snake. So, poof, this is going to be intensely major. So, Snake. All right, Snake. All right, today, if you were to invest in Snake at approximately 0 0.007, 0. 0.007236 okay and you were to invest a hundred and your sold price all right do you think this coin could 100x i want to say to you that a billion dollars is probably going to be this this potential market cap so let's get out our calculator because we need some help here with our calculator so with our calculator you can see here that a billion dollars and now i think snake could actually hit about five billion dollars so i think that we can try that one out as well so there's a billion dollars divided by i call it 54.4 million okay i will give this coin an 18x 18.3x all right so a five billion dollar coin divided by 544 okay that was to give us about a 100x potential now a five billion dollar market cap on snake is quite reasonable considering that we may see cardano's market cap actually hit a fucking ridiculous amount here let's go and have a look what 3300 percent would look like on cardano's market cap three thousand three hundred percent gain there you go that takes us up to a 400 billion dollar market cap on cardano for this cycle and if snake as its main meme coin is only getting five million of five billion dollars out of that that means that that's literally just a tiny speck of dust okay let me know your thoughts down below. Do you own some Snake? Do you own some Cardano? Let me know what you think would happen here. But if we were to hit a $400 billion market cap, your $100 investment, okay, on this coin would absolutely skyrocket. So 100X would take this from 70 to there. So it's 0 0.7. So let's put this as a 0 0.7, okay? 
your hundred dollar investment would convert into ten thousand dollars okay the thousand dollar investment would convert into a hundred thousand dollars your ten thousand dollar investment would convert into a million dollars so obviously this is a much more affordable investment to well actually you both you need to spend ten thousand dollars on both to get it to this point um and a, a million in each so for me we've still got an incredibly long way ahead on cardano i hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for being here with me on the crypto bliss channel truly appreciate you and we'll see you on the next one bless for yourselves